The expression uh, devolution usually conjures up images of nationalists in Scotland, Wales, and yes, even those in Cornwall waving flags and giving the English a hard time, demanding more power from Westminster. It's not necessarily something you associate with sleepy rural communities grappling with such thorny issues as traffic and second homes. But in countless pockets of the southwest, even some city locations, people have been exercising their democratic rights and practicing grassroots politics. John Henderson reports on a quiet political revolution. Sorry. Power to the people. You looking forward to voting today? Yes. Very important day? Yes, yes, hope so. The good folk of Limpston in East Devon making history. Parishioners cast their votes for something three years in the making the neighbourhood plan. It brings democracy closer to the actual village and we get our say rather than somebody else somewhere else. It seems to be uh, the last defence against the rampaging developers. Limpston's close to Exmouth, Devon's largest town that keeps growing. So while the general election might be weeks away, there isn't a political poster in sight. This vote isn't about the deficit, the NHS or the EU. Rather, it's about an issue many small communities are facing. How to cope with new development, in this case, 40 new homes. Has it been a rewarding process? Well, I, we hope it is. If, it's, if the vote is yes tonight, it will be a very rewarding process uh, because we feel we've achieved something that will set what we want to see happen in the village for the next 10 years. At the polling station, there were no candidates, no political parties to choose from. Just a simple statement. Do you want East Devon District Council to use the neighbourhood plan for Limston to help it decide planning applications in the neighbourhood area? Neighbourhood plans give communities... Limpston is not alone when it comes to neighbourhood plans and not all have gone smoothly. Three years ago, Dawlish, a national frontrunner, had its plan rejected because it was put together before the local plan had been finalised by Teenbridge District Council. Back to the drawing board and local government advisers say while neighbourhood plans are a form of devolution, they don't give people the power to stop developments. The system doesn't allow for you to set up a neighbourhood plan and say nothing here. That's, that's not the way the world the system works. You have to work within the framework you're given and that'll say, you know, we're expecting a certain number of houses and a certain amount of other development. So it's not about stopping development. If that's your aim, you wouldn't get to the end of the process. But neighbourhood plans do have teeth. Linton and Lynmouth in North Devon approved a plan which focuses on affordable housing and supports the development of principal residence housing, essentially ensuring people don't use new properties as second homes or holiday lets. Limpston's plan was approved with 561 yes votes to 87 no votes and a high turnout of 43%, ahead of the national average of 20%. The question now is, will it deliver? John Henderson reporting there. Uh, ben, this all seems very good, doesn't it? Local people getting power at a local level. Yes, absolutely. There's always going to be an atten uh, tension, though, Lucy, isn't there, between, in some cases, localism, particularly where there's strong resistance to new housing and the need we have desperately in the southwest for new homes for people. We have the biggest affordability gap in housing we've ever had, young people not being able to get on the property ladder. So it has to be a balance. But yes, local communities should decide where the housing goes. But as your report says, they can't have an absolute veto because then we get no new homes. <coughs> House prices will continue to go up and become unaffordable and out of most people's reach. So you're kind of in agreement here with, with, with the government as they've set it because I was coming to Hugo. Um, at the same time as introducing lots of localism <coughs> measures, you have also changed planning laws so there's a presumption in favour of sustainable development which would mm. be in favour of developers. How does that work? Well, actually, the planning laws, since they came in uh, in the 1920s, I think, have always been in favour of development. That's how every planning law has been done. And Ben's right. We're building fewer houses now than any time since 1924. The average age for a first-time homeowner is now 34. People want homes to live in. They should be entitled to do that. So, so does of course... that mean, uh, it, say in this particular area, if a developer came along and offered to build 150 homes on the edge of the town, which didn't go along with the plan, obviously, that a planning authority at a higher level could actually overrule no, this what, local what, what plan. No, what happens, the idea of the local plan, it has to be reflect 
uh, the neighbourhood plan has to reflect the local plan, but the local plan has to take into account the neighbourhood plan. So I've actually been urging all the other towns in East London. But what about to do the what developer's it, plan? What about the developer comes that, along now and offers more? No, housing? but if it's not in the neighbourhood plan or in the local plan, the developer is not going to have much luck. It wouldn't happen categorically. It shouldn't happen. No, that's unless it goes to appeal when it goes to planning inspector. But no, but the neighbourhood plan is a key part of the local plan, and they should act together. And that's local people having a say for the first time ever, really. Okay, ever well, the, the real difficulty we have in Exeter at the moment is East Devon doesn't have a local plan, and as a result, it's a free for all for developers because developers are free to build on the edge of my city because East Devon Council has not got its local no, that, plan that, approved. That's, that's not, the problem. That, that's not the case. East Devon were told to go away to work with Exeter and Teambridge. They've got the. Okay, I don't want to talk about specific okay, specific okay. areas. We we will move on.